have some really lovely um, uh, programs that are just about connecting with the community and, and kind of finding finding your place in your local community through the arts. So the Migrant Women's Art Group um, is running again this year, which is just, you know, um, a, a lovely way for some of the newer members of our community to connect and to share and to, um, you know, e express what's going on in their world and be able to communicate that to each other and to the wider world. Um, so we're, we're really happy to see that program starting up again um, we're we're also we've got high hopes for the with one voice choir which has had a a rough start during covid <laughs> um, um, but you know it's a it's a beautiful choir it's supported by us and by northside community service and by creativity australia um, and at the moment, um, we're having some really successful outdoor rehearsals in the town square. And it's just, um, you know, what I've been really enjoying is how enthusiastic people are, you know, when they come along to something. Like, I, I feel like everyone's got such a new appreciation for what that um, opportunity to connect and to create together means to them. Um, yeah, it's, it's so lovely to see. to come in and, and to kind of support that through our programs. Like I, I think one thing that we notice whenever we go out and talk to the community is is how um, how much people care about this place. You know, there are lots of people who've moved here and bought their first home or they've, they're new to Canberra and have ended up in Gungahlin. Um, and so people's drive to create community is very high here. And, and drive to express themselves and express their relationship to place um, and to kind of create, help to tell the story of place and their role in it. And, and it's really, um, you know, feel, we feel so privileged to be able to kind of um, scaffold that and, and support it a bit through the arts and just to see, you know, the, the quality and the, the authenticity of what comes back to us every time is so humbling. Um. Um, I mean, I guess like everyone, we're learning to let go a little bit um, and we're trying to sort of start this new year off very gently. So um, smaller programs and, and, you know, things that are happening outdoors as well. So we've got a lovely series of workshops uh, where we're partnering with Woden Arts called No Place Like Home and each month um, a different artist will kind of lead a little workshop that uh, uses a different arti artistic technique every time and helps people kind of uh, just connect and experience the place that they live in. Um, and so the first few of those are all outdoor adventures. We'll have urban sketching coming up um, next month. Um, and then we'll have a little bit of uh, live music down by Yerribee Pond. So again, just really gentle outdoor, you know, trying to we're very aware as well that people are still finding finding their comfort zone and you know trying to be really respectful of that and and trying to support people to re-engage in ways that feel safe and welcoming and comfortable for everybody yeah that's really true and and there's a lot of people in the community doing really great work on that and and having those conversations and i think um you know from from what from our experience the act government is really uh really acknowledging that need and really trying to come up with a solution that uh involves the community and and has been kind of developed with as much community input as possible so it's it's exciting for us to have a, a voice in those conversations and to be kind of advocating for creative spaces and and you know spaces that support the the presentation of, of art that's coming out of the community as well um, and and to to kind of think about that in partnership with with what other community groups need in the region and how we can all sit together and um, support what each other are doing. Yeah, 
and I think you know the the two artists that we had involved in that project um, Sally Holiday and Tom Campbell they did such a beautiful job as well of uh, creating a space where people could connect and come together in an online way as well and and um, creating a safe space for people to just allocate that time to themselves to be creative and to um, and to value that time and to value what was coming out of it for them. Thanks for having me, Tim. Thank you.